Thank you, and it is so amazing to see so many friendly faces in the audience. Folks in the back, there are spots in the front if you wanna sit. Uh, thank you so much. This is uh, our sixth SIGSI, but it's our first ever accepted paper, so it's quite an honor, and I'm very, very excited to be here. So as you all know, I am the GM for GitHub Education, so you could say I am, I'm quite interested in how students learn to use our tool. And when I talk to teachers, like y'all, uh, really the gist of your question is usually, learning to use Git is really hard, is it worth it? <laughs> and I wanted to know, is using Git and GitHub worth it to students? And in what ways is it worth it? How does it predict learning outcomes? And so we wanted to find out what's it like to use GitHub for the first time? What's the result of using GitHub for classwork versus not using it for classwork? And does the specific implementation matter at all? We set out to find out with a big survey of students and teachers who subscribe to our services. A quick primer on GitHub, if you are not familiar. Uh, it's a developer platform that supports collaborative projects and project hosting. It is considered widely the industry standard. 31 million developers build their projects on GitHub. And in fact, most folks in industry will tell you that knowing how to use Git and GitHub is essential in securing a job. With regard to education, more than 20,000 educators use GitHub in their courses. And depending on their implementation, students might submit assignments, they might collaborate on group projects, and they might receive feedback on GitHub. So as, uh, as we got started with our research, when we looked at the scholarship out there, we found that teachers are motivated to adopt GitHub so students get familiar with an industry tool which makes them more competitive on the job market. There's research that using this tool boosts the energy that a student invests in their course. And when instructors were interviewed, teachers reported that GitHub introduced students to essentials in collaboration like peer review. In the research we're sharing today, we build upon that existing research, but we really wanted to examine the voices of students. We wanted to hear from the student experience on reflecting on their programming courses in the past semester. In our survey design, we emailed our teachers who already had a GitHub education membership the pool of respondents included students who both did and did not use GitHub in the classroom and teachers who both did and did not use GitHub in the classroom. They had to have taken a programming assignment, a programming course in the past semester. And although we used different surveys for the teachers and the students, they contained mostly the same measures. Respondent characteristics, a, a quick snapshot of the respondents in their year in school. The chart on the left shows the year in school of the students. The chart on the right, oh, nope, wrong way, <laughs> um, shows the, the teachers who teach the course what year they think the students in that course is. Although the majority of both respondents were in higher education, there was a smattering of respondents from high school, non-traditional, and other kinds of courses. So uh, once we started to dig into these findings, we actually wanted deeper context into some of the trends that we saw. Uh, so we designed a, a follow-up diary study to dig deeper into a few of the questions. So you all are gonna get a two for one in this presentation, you're getting a twofer. Um, you'll hear the findings of that research, but also the results of the diary study that we just recently completed. For example, even though our diary study shows association between the variables, it provides a little insight into causality or why those things are related. So we want to do the diary study and share it to give some extra context for a deeper understanding of the trends. We will also share how a student's experiences with GitHub shifts over the course of a semester. On the design of the study, we, had, we collected students' responses every few weeks over the course of a semester. Eight students participated and received surveys via email, and we also conducted in-depth interviews with the students at the beginning and at the end of the semester. And all of the diary study participants were either not at all familiar with GitHub or only slightly familiar with GitHub at the beginning of the study. 
And because we don't have too much time today, I'm actually going to jump right to the findings. Uh, the ones that I, the question, the answers that I think are interesting and dig deeper there. After collecting our data, we compared the students who use GitHub in the classroom and did not, and the teachers who did the same. The first measure we inspected was around how prepared students felt for the future. Students rated how much they've learned about teamwork and collaboration, popular industry tools, and project management. We also asked teachers to assess how much their students learned about the same three skills. Here you see the blue bars. Uh, the blue bars are responses from teachers and students who use GitHub in the classroom. And the green bars are the teachers and students who do not use GitHub in the classroom. Overall, these data indicate that using GitHub in the classroom predicts these positive learning outcomes. But because our effects were, were small, I'd actually like to focus on the consistent trend here across variables. However, we also found evidence that it isn't just using GitHub versus not using GitHub. It actually, how, how GitHub is used in the classroom manners, matters uh, when predicting students' learning outcomes. So the implementation matters. We found that the greater number of GitHub features used, the greater the positive learning outcomes. It seems that using more features in the classroom was particularly important to how much students learned about both teamwork and collaboration. In reflecting on the data, it's possible that courses who use fewer features generally do not use the social parts of GitHub that enable collaboration. Maybe those teachers only use the, the features for individual assignments for submitting work. But without deeper, deeper context, we can only speculate on what the cause was. Uh, these findings were correlational, and again, the data can't tell us the reason why behind the trends. So in order to get a rounder view of the student perspective, let's go into the qualitative data from the study. We asked our eight diary student participants, diary study participants, which GitHub features have you used in your class? And this table illustrates the features each participant used over the course of the semester. Green means they used it, gray means they didn't. You can see from the, that the diary study participants interacted with a pretty limited set of features, around three to five over the course of a semester. And it does seem to be the case that students who use fewer features are less likely to use the collaboration features like issues, labels, and pull requests. The same students from the diary study reported that they'd stopped learning new things about GitHub about halfway through the semester. At around the same time, they got comfortable with GitHub. And yet, those students expressed a desire to learn more about GitHub's features and uses for various reasons. For instance, students hoped for a better understanding of what GitHub can do. The only time we really used GitHub was pulling the starter code for our repositories. Unfortunately, that was about it, which is a little disappointing because I thought we would be using it more. I wanted to get a better understanding of everything it could do. I wish we could have gone more in depth. I didn't really want to explore features on my own without someone else to show me what it is. I definitely think there should have been more instruction. Forks come to mind. I'm not sure what that is. Breaks my heart. Uh, other students wanted uh, to learn how to use GitHub in new ways. I know I want to use my GitHub as a portfolio, but I've never had a teacher show me how to do that. I don't want to mess up. Another interesting finding was around feedback and the student perspective on feedback from their teachers. We found that in classrooms where instructors used versus did not use GitHub to provide feedback, Students said they found that they used the instructor's feedback more effectively, found the instructor's feedback more helpful, and feel the instructor better understood their needs as a student. Though it's a quick note, because uh, you do see not statistically significant on there. Uh, using GitHub didn't seem to make much of a difference to students' understanding of the feedback or how much attention they paid to it. <laughs> Similarly, we found that students who received peer feedback via GitHub felt that they used feedback from peers more effectively and found the feedback from peers more helpful. However, just like instructor feedback, peer feedback delivered via GitHub did not make a difference in students' ability to comprehend peer feedback or their motivation to attend to the peer feedback. 
our last outcome that we considered was whether using GitHub contributed to a sense of belonging in the developer community. And bringing about a sense of belonging can positively impact or predict a whole host of variables related to academic success, such as intrinsic motivation and academic self-efficacy. So we measured both feelings of belonging in class and feelings of belonging in the field. The, like the scale was one to seven. My, my contributions in the course are valued. I feel comfortable in the course. People in the course accept me. And belonging in the field, the questions were, I see myself as part of the developer community. I feel that I am a part of the developer community. I feel a sense of belonging to the developer community. We found that students in classrooms that used GitHub felt a slightly greater sense of belonging in the classroom and in the field more generally. And a brief reminder that the, the sample of the students we surveyed is biased. They, they were already members of our programs to participate. So perhaps with a more representative sample with folks who ha didn't know GitHub at all initially, we would even see a, a greater boost uh, in students who grow that sense of belonging. Taking a closer look at what students from our more recent diary study said helps us understand why using GitHub in the classroom might predict greater feelings of belonging. In general, students felt that learning to use GitHub was one variable that directly contributed to their feelings of belonging. Using GitHub increased my feelings of belonging because learning tools like that always does. It is a very common and necessary tool. I feel like it increased my desire to be a programmer. I actually switched out of CS at one point because I had a lot of problems with being a girl in CS. Sometimes it's difficult with the amount of boys and it being an old boys club. It's better now. Over the course of the semester, I feel a lot more that I can identify with the label that I'm a developer because I am more familiar with how GitHub works. I don't feel like an imposter. Now that I know how to use GitHub, I think there's a lot more that I can do to kind of get involved, like with other developers. GitHub provides a place to do all of that. If I want to do this as a career path, it's important that I'm not just working by myself because that's not how I'm going to work after college. And these findings may help you teachers set expectations for the amount of time needed for students to feel comfortable learning GitHub. In our diary study, we asked students to assess the familiarity with GitHub at the beginning and at the end of the semesters. Not surprisingly, students and teachers report that they are more familiar with it after using it for a semester. Makes sense. However, we have little insight into how familiarity with GitHub increased over, over the course of the semester. On average, participants expected needing about two to two and a half months to feel familiar with GitHub, and generally, they were right. By Survey 5, which we administered about two months into the semester, it showed that students had reached a moderate level of familiarity with GitHub. Interestingly, when asked about the difficulty of learning GitHub at the beginning of the semester, students learned towards thinking that it was easy. But teachers' perceptions of the average student experience lean towards difficult. Uh, although it might be the case that students are struggling uh, less than their te teachers perceive, this discrepancy, again, might be the result of our biased sampling. That is, our student participants may have been more familiar with GitHub than the average student. In addition, we found that about half of the students felt the amount of support they received from teachers and peers was just right. 25% felt that they received less than the ideal amount of support from teachers, and 32% felt that they received less than the ideal amount of support from peers. Teachers actually didn't feel the same way, surprise. Um, fewer teachers felt that the amount of support from teachers was less than ideal. And let's take a look at what some of the students who participated in the diary study had to say about having less than the ideal amount of support from teachers. The instructors assume that we know it more. It's mostly Googling what I need to figure it out. I would like my instructor to show us how to use GitHub in depth, especially in an intro class like the one I am in. Overall, diary study participants found learning to use GitHub neither easy 
nor difficult, and felt learning to use GitHub got easier over the first three to four weeks of class around survey three to four for us. Students reported that having access to good resources and support made learning to use GitHub easier. Because the new terminology around Git and GitHub, right, there's a lot of terminology, and students needed some support with that terminology. It made learning to use GitHub difficult. And we know that students feel overwhelmed by the amount of information that's out there on the internet. So they really valued having resources that were directly relevant to the class information that was being taught available to them. We also learned that almost all of the students from the diary study relied on peers at the beginning of the semester. However, if the student felt that they were less familiar with GitHub than their peers, they, they were more hesitant to speak up and ask for help. I feel like asking that, asking peers, will be a very last resort because it's also like embarrassing to ask them. But as students started working on group projects at the end of the semester, they began to rely on peers again. We found that participants generally explore GitHub beyond their coursework. This one blew my mind. I was really surprised by these findings. This suggests that participants are independently learning more about GitHub. This graph shows the percentages of students who explore on GitHub increased across the first four weeks of the semester from 25% to about 50%. Uh, however, after reaching roughly 75% by survey five, which was weeks seven to eight in the semester, the percentage of participants exploring GitHub beyond what was necessary for their course decreased slightly to around 40% near the end of the semester, which makes sense, final exams, school wrapping up, et cetera. Some participants felt that their course did not motivate them to explore GitHub beyond what was necessary for the course. I think they could have added in part of the project, like you just have to make a branch or like make a pull request to like understand what it is. Just like add little elements into the project so you can explore additional functionalities. You can work that into the project, just a little extra part. Then I definitely walk away with a bigger understanding. At a certain point, we were learning less in the classroom. Like everything we were doing for the class stayed at one level, the responsibility to learn more shifted to me personally. So to wrap it up, the key takeaways that I say to instructors about this paper, uh, those key findings are using GitHub versus not using GitHub in the classroom is associated with greater positive student learning outcomes of teamwork and collaboration, mastery of industry tools, and preparation for the future and project management. We also learned that how using GitHub is implemented in the class really matters. That is, using more features may enhance students' various learning outcomes, especially ones related to collaborative work. Now our data is correlational and the effects were small, but the findings across variables were consistent and our qualitative research adds additional support Another key finding was that using GitHub in, uh, versus not using GitHub in the classroom predicted greater senses of belonging in the class and in the field. The qualitative data showed that students feel that learning to use GitHub directly contributed to their feelings of belonging. And using GitHub also provided students with opportunities to interact with developers in the community. Students require more support and class-specific resources from instructors, especially the first-time users. And in closing, I invite all kinds of future research on this topic. I'm really excited to engage with more instructors around research in GitHub, anything having to do with causality or other using other real world tools. Please find me at the booth. You can also find a copy of this paper, a hard copy, for your closer examination and edification. Thank you.